Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. It's Anthony from Modesto Furniture, located at 1408 North Carpenter Road in Modesto. We haven't made a video in a long time. Um, I actually lost my account uh, password information, but uh, we did able to log back in and we've seen that our videos did do well. However, um, a lot of people were asking for us to slow down the video and there's actually a lot of people interested in buying these uh, Ashley products that come um, in small boxes that you have to build yourself. So um, I think uh, it's a good idea to go ahead and make a video to show you guys step by step um, how to build it, slow, slow down the video actually, and um, actually show you guys too the quality of the build as well too because as you know, I mean it's a very good price. At a, we sell it at 196 <clears throat> for the five drawer. Let me show you guys right over here. So we got it for 196.65. All right. So we do. We are gonna try to keep these in stock. Um, however, if we do not have them in stock and you're looking to get one, come on down, place a deposit, and we'll get you one no matter in a matter of a week. So yeah. So I mean, it's it is very. It's it's for the price. I guess you cannot beat it. You know. It's not bad <clears throat> we sell them a lot you know I like to sell them in the box it's easier to load easier to deliver but some customers they want you to build it for them because obviously as you can tell as you will see not really though compared to Ikea or Walmart because this stuff is really easy the main thing that we are gonna need is gonna be a hammer and uh, the, well they say not to use a drill gun um, because they say you know you, it's, it's very powerful you'll probably go right through the wood or something but I know when to stop or how you know hard to do it but um, yeah sometimes it is easier though to use it by hand but we're gonna go ahead and do it with the drill bit with the Phillips bit and that's the box that it comes in right there so the first thing we need to do is get it all opened up and get all the pieces situated what i like to do is uh there's a little label on there what they for the for the part number uh it's easier for me to see i, I place all the parts uh, in a manner where i can see everything so you'll see that right now check it out So that's the easiest way to do it, is to get everything out of the box and throw the box out, get everything, all the trash out of the way. So that way you have a nice clean work area. Losing parts or losing pieces, anything like that, everything is there. You know where you set everything. So this is what I mean. Uh, let the numbers be showing. So that way 
when you're reading the instructions and they ask for number four, you already can, boom, grab it. And a lot of people, when they see this, automatically they get scared, you know, and then the item that they bought or the, the chest of dresser that they bought is just sitting in the boxes for weeks and weeks because, you know, this, all these parts scare them. But honestly, I mean, it's, it, it's very easy if you've done it once or twice. Honestly, I really don't need the instructions, but I'm going to go through step by step with you guys. So, yeah, I'm going to let my phone charge for a little bit. Obviously, you guys are not going to wait for that. And it'll be, you know, right now. But, uh, yeah. Okay. So now what we're going to do is open up our instruction manual. Well, first what we're going to do is get you a nice area. Maybe the floor. Um, what I'm going to use is my couch right here. Um, so the first thing, first step is grab number one. Alright, so that's number one. And what it says is to get these ones which I have them all laid out right here. It's easier for me. I can just grab them. I don't have to reach in the plastic. Um, so that's that right there. So the H14 comes with 10 of those. So what we're going to do is screw those there into these holes that it shows. One, two, three, four. Let's do that right now. Not too tight, just right when it's snug. You can see right there, that's in, that's it. Step two is get number three and number two, lay them down flat, do the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six of those that we're gonna use and four of those that we're gonna plug into the holes and we're gonna do that now. We're gonna get this out of the way, get those down right over there. Now that we got our pieces laid out, what that instructions is calling for, number two and number three, we have our screws laid out next to the holes where they're gonna go, so you can see. And then we're gonna pop those into there. And you'll see that right now. I just wanna show you guys a little tip. What I like to do is to make it easier, so not, unconfu not confusing is set your pieces exactly the same as the picture. As you see, those little holes are facing that way, and these screws are facing this way, and number two is on the bottom, three is on the top, number two is on the bottom, three is on the top, just to make it easier. You don't have to do it that way, but it's easier for me, I found. So if you wanna do it like that, go ahead and do it. And uh, so now we're gonna go ahead and screw these on. Okay, now we got those ones like that. They look exactly like the picture. What we're gonna do is screw on right here, as you can see. You can use a little hand one or you can use the drill bit, like I said, but when you use the drill bit, just do it a little easy. You can see that it's gonna lock. This thing does not, it's supposed to make, it's not supposed to make a complete circle all the way around because it locks. This locks into this. So I'm gonna show you guys that right now. And sorry if the camera quality is bad. I'm using my hand and my camera. And uh, yeah, I don't have the equipment to do this. I'm not sponsored by anything. I'm not sponsored by Ashley. Uh, I'm just doing this on my free time as I wait for customers. So bear with me. I'm gonna place the, put the phone down and we're gonna try to do this. I'm gonna flip the camera. back put this one in here and make sure it lines up you can see this one doesn't line up so we'll go back this way put that one in there just like that we're going to use our phillips or our star or our screwdriver whatever you want to call it and screw it in until it's tight you'll feel it here let me show you guys this one so you guys can see you'll feel it See how there's a little arrow on there? That's the way it turns. And just do it till it's tight. That's it, right there. Let's see, it's as far as it went. All right. Now we're gonna do step four. We're gonna find number 17. We're gonna put our dowels inside there. This is our dowels right here. They used to be wood, now they're plastic. 
we used to use the glue. Now the glue is not needed. And it's going to be a tight snug already. As you can see, it's rigid. All right, so let's do that. Okay. Just a heads up, there's a small hole next to this big hole on this one right here. Just make sure you screw it into the small hole right here. Okay, not the big hole. Obviously, it's not going to go in, but it's common sense. So now we're going to go ahead and pop these in. And you'll see why. If you've never seen these ones before, you'll see. There's a little arrow right there. Put that facing the hole that's in there. That's right there. So you're going to put that in there. Even though, yeah, it does say. I was going to say this doesn't tell us to do it yet, but I always jump ahead. But it does tell us. So we're going to go ahead and pop those in. Really easy. Just by hand. You don't need no hammer or nothing like that. Just pop them in. And you want to make sure they're all the way to the bottom. Okay, so those are in. Let's see what the instructions calls for now. So now we're going to use number two, we're going to get number three out of the way, and we're going to bring number one back. So let's go ahead and do that right now. This is number 17, what it looks like. It has two, four holes on there. We're going to go ahead and put our four dowels in there. Push that in. You'll feel it tight, just force it, push it in. Same thing on the other side. So tight. Oh, careful, guys. I'm doing this with one hand. Hold that. Okay, push that in. All right, it's gonna look like that. Looks good. If it looks like that, you did a good job. Set that to the side. We're gonna need that soon. What's the next step? Step five. We'll find number 14, we'll do the same thing, one dowel in there, and then it also requires one of those. So make sure you put the dowel in the right hole, in the dowel without the circle there, as you see. All right, let's find that. So we have number 14, as the instructions calls for. I'm gonna go ahead and put our last two dowels into the holes that it requires. Okay, push that in. Another one. Push that in. Okay. Now it requires one of these. Remember, hole, you see the hole? Arrow facing the hole or outwards. Push that in. Same thing, the other one. Face it. Push that in. Easy. We're going to go ahead and set that next to that. And let's see the next step. Step number six. We'll find number four. Pop these last four pieces in there, number four. And number four just happens to be right there. And let's see which way we're gonna do. We're gonna just set it. We're gonna set it on top of the instructions for now. Go ahead and pop those in. Again, arrow facing out. Arrow facing out. Again, guys, it's probably I'm making it make it probably make it look harder than it is. That's only because I'm showing you guys a video of it. If you have both hands, it's very easy. Let's set this aside. Next step. Okay, step number seven. So what we're gonna do is you see this piece how it, we had it facing that way. This now the picture shows that way. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that around. We're gonna grab our number four. We're gonna throw it on there, or right there. We're gonna lock it in. Then we're gonna throw number 17 there, and we're gonna lock it in. All right, we're gonna do that right now. Okay, flip that around. Careful, guys. Remember, this is just hanging on there like that, so you don't want to wiggle that too much, all right? Because there's not, it's not a lot of support. All right, so we're gonna throw this one on there. All right, so this is the number four. All right, guys, number four, okay. As you can see, the holes are facing outwards. So these things are facing outwards. 
Okay, so also you can see too, just notice that there's more room on one side and less on that side. So if you can see this, more room on that side, less on that side. So that way you want to put it like this. Okay, you want to just lock it into this hole. Boom, set it there. Okay, you can have somebody else hold it. Or you can do it like this with one hand like me and improvise so then you just lock it in there remember not too tight as soon as it locks that's it lock it in okay now it says to grab number 17 we're gonna grab our number 17 and it looks like there's really no wrong way to put it so we're gonna cover that sticker. We're gonna put the sticker in the inside. So we're gonna put in this hole, our 2000 to the hole, just like that. So if it look, yours looks like that, you're doing good. Step number eight is joining the number two, was that? Uh, joining number three. To this this is going to be the little tricky part because we're going to have to um yeah you'll see all right let's find this well, we're going to set the camera so you guys can see flip this camera up all right there we go okay guys set this on here you can see Holes, see those two? Gonna go, gonna slide it in here first. Then we're gonna find the hole there on number four, drop it in, boom. Then we're gonna come back, clean everything up, but we gotta get this one in, number 17. Gotta get those dowels in. There you go, not too hard. Bam. Locked. Oh, it's not locked yet. It's not locked yet. It's going to be locked right now. So now you want to go to your little swivel turning thing and lock those in now. Okay. Same thing on this one. Little thing. Lock it in. That's it. Okay. Now, the frame is complete, the base, I mean. Now, we're gonna bring it down carefully. Bring it down slowly. There we go. As you can see, now, our foundation, you know, it is a little, wobbly but that's because we don't have our structure in the back which we come to now which is step number nine is we add this back piece on with all these little nails so if you have a small drill bit or a small screwdriver you can do it like that and screw it in don't mind my finger that's from the pool table delivery we're gonna throw this on the back and this is going to give it more structure, make it more firm, planted. You're going to see that right now. Guys, we did a little mistake. See, this is what I mean. If you just take your time and don't rush things, just pay attention and don't make the mistake that I did. Is I forgot to put number 14 on as it's sitting right there. As you can see, it goes across right here. So if, if you caught that and you put it on, Good job. If you did, didn't, and you're following, you messed up like me, I'm sorry. But this is where we live and we learn. So we're going to go ahead and uh, try to get that on there. We might have to pull that off, but we'll make it work. Uh, yeah, we'll make it work. Let's do it. It'll be on right now. Just like that, guys. All right, so get that on there. What I did was I just loosened these two on the top, lifted this up. Be careful though because this is going to want to fall down and then it might break that. 
So just hold this up, scoot this to the side, slip that in, tighten those down. That's it. Now we're gonna get our structure on the back on, our back piece panel, and we'll have a solid foundation for our drawers to go in. All right, so as you guys can see, we got these all nailed all around the edges and that made the dresser very, very firm and planted to the ground now. So if you're thinking about not putting that on, think again, because that is a big difference. So now our next step is the drawers. And I know it looks hard, it looks difficult, but it is very easy. Uh, Ashley, what they did with their genius brains is you see those little hooks these are going to go these are the side panels for each drawer these are going to go and you want to make sure you line up this line right here with that line so obviously this is not the right one actually let me just show you with the correct one so like this see how that line lines up that's where the bottom drawer panel is going to go so what you're going to do is you're going to put put that in there like that see then it asks you to pull back. At the same time, holding down this one, you pull back. At the same down time, push down. You don't wanna just pull back and then with no pressure because then it's gonna leave a gap right there. So you wanna pull, push it down and pull back at the same time, holding down that one. You might need help. Um, and then you do the same thing with that side. So just like this. So it's gonna look just like that. One on this side. Make sure you line up this with that. Same thing with that one. You can see the line there, which it shows you the item number here. Six, seven, and eight. Exactly how I explained to you. Then you're gonna slide the back panel down into those little grooves. We're gonna do that now. And what you wanna do is this one is printed, this one is not. You wanna put the printed side facing up so that's going to be the side when that you see when you open up the drawer otherwise you're going to see that plain wood color it's going to look too shabby all right so you want to get that in there like that make sure it's there okay boom now we're going to get our back panel step 13 right there number nine we're gonna set that in there, and then we're gonna get these plastic pieces. We're gonna put it here and hammer them in. So I'm gonna show you guys that right now. Okay, where are you at? Number nine. Flip that around with a line. I'm gonna go into there. We're so gonna put that on there like that. Okay, like that. And then I'm gonna get these, put it in the hole, and bring this one up leveled and hammer that in. Same thing, there's four one, two, three, four. So do that, uh, and then we're gonna do this next step, which is step number 14. You want to hit that in there till it's tight and snug. Same thing on that side. Now we have ourselves a drawer with no handle and no bottom support. So if you flip that around, now we come to step number fifth or seven fourteen, and we're gonna grab number item number fifteen, which is one of these right here. You can see it has both of those on both on oh no, one side. Sorry. So that goes on the bottom in there like that you can see and then I'm gonna hook it in there push it down at the same time and then we're gonna bring this drawer this white panel bring it up a little bit just bring it up a little bit you don't have to put a lot of pressure just bring it up bring the hole in like that get your little plastic dowel screw thingy with jigger get your little hammer hammer that in there Tap. Not too hard. Now you got yourself a solid bottom foundation surface. 
now we have a drawer that is ready to go in without our handles that want to come to that neck because that's the easy part so now we have a drawer ready to go into its hinge we're going to get this little put it into that so put that one in find the other side push it in and push it in we're not done yet we still have four more drawers to do that then also <clears throat> we have screws that we got to put in each hole two screws per drawer it's gonna screw in to here so that way it stays on its glide and then we throw in our handle and we have a finished product that's gonna look like this all right so now that we got our drawers in all right so the next step what we're gonna do is we're gonna install these little screws right here as you can see the last thing that's left is the handles with the big screws that comes with its own package and then these ones were left in the package that's over there so these small screws are gonna go we're gonna bring open up one drawer we're gonna start from the top we're gonna throw a screw there and we're gonna make sure we catch that hole right there we're gonna do that one two two four six eight ten ten times no two four six eight ten yeah ten times all right let's do that right now yeah it should be done right now wait one second just a tip so once when you put that screw in sometimes you have to you know if you, if you just try to screw it like that it's never going to catch unless you push this bar or that rail push it with your finger towards the where you're screwing and do it at the same time i can't do it because i'm doing it with two hands then you'll catch that hole and you'll see it and then you can kind of like maneuver into the hole either if you have to go up or down and then you'll catch it and then just do it till it's snug right there and that's it that's all you need do the same thing for that side put the little screw in Let's see if i can do this with one hand grab it like that find the hole which is going to be let me find the hole for you guys first okay right there boom now we're just going to try to let's we'll see if it catches without pushing it let's see if you guys see what i mean see it's never going to catch so you'll have to push it with one finger then turn it and then it'll catch and you can see as it caught because i pushed it and just till it's snug right there should be good to go now we have a working rail system we're gonna do that all the way down then we're gonna throw the handles on all right now that we got all the rail systems working with those screws that we put on we're gonna start now with the top drawer handle so what we're gonna do is get our first handle pull one drawer out Put the bolt in or the screw, put it in, bring your handle, match it up to that hole right there, boom. Screw that in with your Phillips screwdriver or your drill gun, whatever you have. Just be careful you have a drill gun, don't do it too tight. And then we're done. And we'll show you guys the final product right now. And the final product, guys. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, sorry about the bad video quality. I'm just using a Samsung Galaxy. That's it by hand. I'm holding it. I'm not sponsored by Ashley. Like I said, I'm not doing this. I'm not getting paid for it. I'm on the clock actually waiting for customers. And I took the time out to do that to show you guys. Um, and this goes for pretty much all of Ashley's um, EB products. All of their products or their dressers or their chests that start with the uh, model number EB, which is um, for them, it's called easy to build. That's why it's uh, the model number starts with EB. But anything that starts with EB, keep in mind you will have to build. It will come with instructions. It will come in a small box. So this is the Flania um, chest by Ashley. If you want one, come on down to 1408 North Carpenter Road in Modesto. We're open 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, Monday through Saturday, close on Sundays for now, and uh, come check us out.
And if you want one of these chests, you want me to build it for you, my price is only $20. $20, that's it. I think that's pretty fair. It takes me about an hour, maybe less. But uh, yeah, I think it's pretty fair. So if you guys want one, come on down, Modesto Furniture. My name's Anthony. Come see me. And thanks again for watching. And if you guys like this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more like it, hit that subscribe button so you guys know when I post more. I plan on doing a lot of Ashley's uh, easy to build products. Um, I see that a lot of people are having trouble um, and actually want to buy these products because they want to save money. I um, mean, it's a good way to save money. And uh, yep, so uh, thanks again. My name's Anthony. Until next time, peace out.